Good day Forex Trader. Your USD Forex signal, bullish flag points to rebound. There is a possibility that the pair will keep rising, with the initial target being last week's high of 1.1482. Bullish view. Buy the Euro USD pair and set a take profit at 1.1500. Add a stop loss at 1.1350. Timeline, 1 to 2 days. Bearish view. Set a sell stop at 1.1400 and a take profit at 1.1350. Add a stop loss at 1.1450. The Euro USD pair wavered in the overnight session as investors continued to assess the impact of the hawkish Fed and ECB on the respective currencies. The pair is trading at 1.1417, which is about 0.56% below the highest level last week. ECB and Fed decisions. The US and the Eurozone have not published any important economic data this week. Therefore, the pair has moved sideways as investors digest the decisions by the Fed and ECB. Two weeks ago, the Fed decided to leave rates unchanged and signaled that it will start hiking rates in March. On Thursday last week, the ECB also left its pandemic era policies unchanged. But in a press conference, Christine Lagarde refused to rule out whether the bank will start hiking interest rates later this year. Investors interpreted this to be a sign that the bank will hike rates. She confirmed this view on Monday when she pointed that any rate hike cycle will be gradual. Analysts expect that the bank will implement about two hikes later this year. On Tuesday, the U.S. published its trade numbers. According to the Commerce Department, the country's exports rose by $4 billion to $228 billion. In the same time, imports also increased by $4 billion to $308 billion. As a result, the country's total trade deficit widened to more than $80.7 billion. Later on Wednesday, the German Statistics Agency will publish the latest trade numbers. Analysts expect that the country's exports declined by 0.2% in December while imports fell by 1.5%. They see the trade deficit narrowing to about 10.4 billion euros. The next key catalyst that will move the euro USD pair will be the latest American Consumer Price Index data that will come out on Thursday. Euro USD Forecast the 4-hour chart shows that the euro USD pair jumped sharply after the ECB decision last week. It managed to rise to a multi-week high of 1.1482. Along the way, the pair has formed a bullish flag pattern that is shown in red. It also remained above the 25-day and 50-day moving averages while the RSI has retreated slightly. The pair is also forming the handle section of the cup and handle pattern. Therefore, there is a possibility that the pair will keep rising, with the initial target being last week's high of 1.1482. GBP USD Forex signal, consolidating above $1.3500 area. Today's GBP USD signals. Risk 0.75%. Trades may only be entered before 5 p.m. London time today. Long trade ideas. Go long following a bullish price action reversal on the H1 time frame immediately upon the next touch of $1.3458 or $1.3401. Place the stop loss 1 pip below the local swing low. Move the stop loss to break even once the trade is 25 pips in profit. Remove 50% of the position as profit when the price reaches 25 pips in profit and leave the remainder of the position to ride. Short trade ideas. Go short following a bearish price action reversal on the H1 time frame time frame immediately upon the next touch of $1.3587 or $1.3664. Place the stop loss 1 pip above the local swing high. Move the stop loss to break even once the trade is 25 pips in profit. Remove 50% of the position as profit when the price reaches 25 pips in profit and leave the remainder of the position to ride. The best method to identify a classic price action reversal is for an hourly candle to close, such as a pin bar, a dodgy, an outside or even just an engulfing candle with a higher close. You can exploit these levels or zones by watching the price action that occurs at the given levels. 
GBP USD analysis. I wrote last Monday that the price was probably going to be quiet and directionless over the day. I expected that the price would remain between $1.3512 and either $1.3552 or $1.3587. This was correct apart from a brief dip below $1.3512. There has been little change to the technical picture in this currency pair since Monday. The former support level at $1.3512 and resistance level at $1.3552 have been invalidated. The price is basically consolidating just above the big round number at $1.3500 and is bound by a range between $1.3458 and $1.3587. This means that the price has more than 100 pips to chop around in. I strongly believe this range will hold today, but tomorrow's US CPI, inflation, data release could change that. I think the price movement within the range will be choppy, so I would refrain from trading this pair today except from a bullish reversal at $1.3458 or a bearish reversal at $1.3587. AUD USD Forex signal, bullish breakout to 0.7200 likely. The pair will likely keep rising as bulls target the next key resistance level at 0.7200. Bullish view. Buy the AUD USD and set a take profit at 0.7200. Add a stop loss at 0.7100. Timeline, 1 to 2 days. Bearish view. Set a sell stop at 0.7115 and a take profit at 0.7080. Add a stop loss at 0.7200. The AUD slash USD pair has been in a tight range in the past few days as investors assess the actions of the Reserve Bank of Australia, RBA, and the Federal Reserve. The pair is trading at 0.7133, which is slightly below this week's high of 0.7140. RBA and Fed decisions. The AUD USD has risen sharply in the past few weeks. The pair has risen from the year-to-date low of 0.6968 to a high of 0.7140. The jump happened as investors reacted to the actions by the RBA and the Fed. Two weeks ago, the Fed decided to leave interest rates unchanged. But the bank also hinted that it will start hiking interest rates in March. The RBA concluded its meeting last week and also left rates intact and ended its asset purchases. In a separate speech, the bank's governor hinted that rate hikes will likely keep rising later this year. He reiterated that the bank will continue being data dependent. As a result, based on recent data, analysts have started pricing in a rate hike later this year. Some analysts even believe that the RBA will implement a rate hike before the European Central Bank. That is simply because economic numbers from Australia have been relatively strong. For example, the services PMI figure published on Monday was better than expected. It also moved from the contraction zone of 46 to above 50. Similarly, the recent retail sales and inflation numbers were also strong. The unemployment rate has also been in a downward trend and the situation will improve now that the government has announced its reopening plans. In a statement on Monday, the government said that it will allow double vaccinated foreigners in the country. AUD-USD forecast. The 4-hour chart shows that the AUD-USD pair has made a spectacular recovery in the past few days. However, in the past few days, it has struggled to find direction partly because the Fed and the RBA are on the same page. It has moved slightly above the 25-day and 50-day moving averages. The pair is also slightly below the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. Therefore, the pair will likely keep rising as bulls target the next key resistance level at 0.7200. This breakout will likely happen before or after the upcoming US inflation data that comes tomorrow.